You asked for it. It begins right now, baby. The Grow Your Dough Challenge of 2019 begins right now. What's going on y'all, my name's Jeff Rose. Welcome to Wealth Hacker TV. This is a channel committed to teaching you new ways to grow wealth that is not taught to you by your parents or in school. And today is a fun one because we're talking about growing your dough. Yeah, baby, this is what we call real dough. All right, so what is this all about? So several years ago, I did what was called the Grow Your Dough Challenge. And this whole challenge was to get other bloggers to participate and we all took $1,000 we invested it the way that we wanted to. We chose the investment platform that we wanted to choose and we picked our investments. And at the end of the year, we were going to see who could, you guessed it, grow their dough, the biggest, the fattest, the largest. And it was a fun challenge that we all did. And there was two, there was a couple components with that though. It was fun, but for me, the reason I wanted to do it was I wanted to show people, all the people that come to me and say, I don't know where to start. I don't know how to get started investing. And I wanted to show them like, here's how you get started. Not just me, but I've got other bloggers that are showing you and other ways to get started so that you don't have any more excuses. Now, when I did it, I had a lot more fun Actually, it was more of a headache, but it was more fun. And I actually opened up, I think it was six or seven different investment accounts at different platforms. So once again, it just reinforced that you tell me you don't know where to go. Well, I'm gonna show you seven or eight different ways that you can get started. So for all of you that keep making these excuses that you don't know how to start investing, like I'm done with it. Talk to the hand with your investment excuses. In this introductory Grow Your Dough Challenge, I'm going to show you the different investment platforms that I opened my accounts. Now I went a few steps further than others. So I took $1,000 times seven or eight, forgot how many accounts I opened. So I took $1,000, opened an account here, an account there, an account over there. Once again, I wanted to show you that maybe you don't like this platform, or maybe you don't like this investment strategy, and you want something else. Well, I'm showing you that you can open up different accounts at different platforms. So for those of you that haven't opened one account yet, come on now, like I just opened up seven or eight. So the excuses, I'm done with it, I'm done with it. All right, we're done with the excuses, let's move on. In all seriousness, I'm gonna show you the different investment platforms that I've opened all of my accounts at. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the different investment strategies that I'll be incorporating in each of those accounts. We're also gonna highlight some of the other YouTubers that are taking part in this challenge so you can follow their Grow Your Dough challenge throughout 2019. And then I wanna talk a little about what you can expect with the Grow Your Dough challenge in the next year to come because I've got some really cool ideas that I think is gonna help you not only invest, but learn how to hack your wealth because that's what we're all about right now. So let's go check out the different investment platforms that I've opened my accounts for the Grow Your Dough Challenge. All right, so let's take a look at where I am opening all my different accounts. And I think I said seven or eight at the beginning of this video. Um, no, there's actually nine. Yes, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different accounts that I've opened. Remember all you making excuses about not being able to open up one account? Okay, anyway. So the first platform that I am opening an account with is Fundrise. Fundrise, I've talked about them before. They're a crowdfunding real estate platform. We've got $1,000 in there. I'm doing the long-term uh, investment strategy. Uh, so we'll check that out. Uh, investment platform number two is Lending Club. So we're doing peer-to-peer -peer lending. I've got $1,000, open up a new account. Yes, another account with Lending Club. Uh, I'm going to walk through the process of choosing those notes. Uh, I expect a video on all of these to come. So that's part of the announcement. We'll get to that here in a second. Investment platform number three is M1 Finance. Uh, I have another video where I talk about uh, me opening my first M1 Finance account. You can check that video out. So M1 Finance, I like about them, that allows you to buy individual stocks. There is no uh, trading costs, which makes it kind of cool. But uh, so with M1 Finance, another thing about them that makes them somewhat unique is that you can buy fractional shares. Now, because of that, I thought, what investment strategy would I use for M1 Finance? So with them, I'm going to use the FANG strategy or buying FANG stocks. So FANG is an acronym for the top five tech companies that exist out there. So FANG, you've got Facebook, you've got Apple, you've got Amazon, Netflix, and Google. 
So with this, I'm going to take the $1,000, I'm going to buy an equal percentage of each of those stocks. So we're gonna divvy those up. Um, will be equal percentage in dollar amounts in bank stocks in M1 Finance. Investment platform number four, and this one's kind of cool because I actually have never opened an account with them before. Or I guess I actually opened an account, but I never finished the process. This is a while ago. And that is Robinhood. Robinhood is another very popular investment platform, unless you're talking about having a 3% savings account. Whoops. So Robinhood is another investment platform that allows you to buy stocks with zero commission, zero trading costs. And I thought, all right, so what should I do here? And I thought this one would be a fun one to be more speculative and that is such a fancy word that just means that I'm gonna roll the dice and we're gonna have some fun making some fun risky picks so we're going for high return high impact which probably means I'm going to lose my butt but it's all part of this fun challenge investment platform at number five is E-Trade E-Trade is I don't know how long they've been around, but when I think of online brokers, like they're one of the legacy ones that has been around for quite some time. So since they've been around for quite some time, I thought with them, let's use an investment strategy that's a little more proven, more tried and true. So with that one, I'm going to be selecting dividend stocks. Now I don't have any criteria on these dividends, like if they've increased their dividends every quarter, every year for the last some years, I'm just gonna find some good blue chip, some Fortune 500, type companies that you've probably heard of, products and services that you probably have in your, in your home, and we're gonna do that. So be on the lookout for what dividend stocks I'm picking in E-Trade. Investment platform number six, this is another tried and true, been around for quite some time, and that is TD Ameritrade. So with TD Ameritrade, this is another tried and true investment platform that's been around for quite some time, and I've been really kind of racking my brain, like what do I want to do here? If I'm doing speculative, going high risk and Robin Hood, you know, how can I balance that out and also teach you all you know, what it's like to pick stocks and, and what to look for? So with TD Ameritrade, I thought with this one, I'm going to invest my money a little bit more safer as if I was investing my money and I wanna buy companies, stocks that I'm familiar with. You know, maybe these are companies that I use, products that I'm familiar with, and I wanna buy stocks that wouldn't make my mom freak out. I, want, I wouldn't want my wife to get a statement and ask like, who in the world is this? Like you're buying stock and uh, who, who are they? So once again, these are going to be stocks, but they're going to be stocks that are not very high risk, or at least compared to the high risk, and I'm gonna roll the dice in Robinhood. So investment platform number seven is Ally Financial. Now this is an account I've actually had open for quite some time. When I first opened this account, they were Trade King. Ally since bought them out, and now they are Ally Financial, Ally Invest, Ally Bank, I don't know, Ally Invest. But with this one, I thought, oh my gosh, how many different investment strategies can I do? So let's have some fun with this. With Ally Financial, because of their very pretty colors, I think they're purple, I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and get the wife involved, let's get the missus. So what you're going to see here is my wife Mandy is going to pick some stocks uh, and we're going to see if she can grow her dough compared to me. And we, we'll compare this to my TD Ameritrade account. So kind of like my picks versus her picks. So be on the lookout for a future video where we walk through the picks, the stock picks that she has for Ally Financial. Investment platform number eight is Betterment. Now Betterment is an investment platform I talk a lot about here on the channel. I also talk about them on my blog and why I talk about them is that Betterment allows you to open up an investment account, whether it's a individual account, a joint account, or a Roth IRA, and you don't actually have to pick the stocks. You don't have to pick the ETFs, which is, are the investment tools that they use. With Betterment, you open the account, you select what is your financial goal, like what are you trying to accomplish, what's your timeline, and then they build that portfolio for you. So I thought, okay, let's go ahead and do this. Let's open a Betterment account. Let's see, based on my investment goals and and what is the portfolio that they select for me? So I'm gonna walk you through that process as well. So Betterment is another one added to the Grow Your Dough list. Investment platform number nine. If you wanna call this giving in to peer pressure, then fine, peer pressure, I've given in. I'm opening an investment account with Coinbase. And actually, technically, I already had an account with Coinbase, but I've got $1,000 in a Coinbase account, and yes, I am buying crypto. Now, 
I don't know. I don't, I, do I have any business buying crypto? Probably not. You know, I've heard of Bitcoin and all the others out there, but uh, I'm not really big into crypto. And many of you are because I see the comments all the time. So because of that, I've got a thousand dollars and we're going to buy cryptocurrency. And I think I'm just going to kind of spread it up, spread out like the five or six different ones they offer there in Coinbase or probably more. You're probably hearing me say talk about crypto and you realize, Jeff, you have no idea what you're talking about. True story, true story, but I'm going to learn more about it because guess what? I'm investing into cryptocurrency in the Grow Your Dough Challenge, so there. You got me. Are you happy now? I'm gonna skip number 10. I'm gonna come back to that. I'm gonna go ahead and go to number 11, which is maybe 11, 12, 13, 14, I don't know. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to open up investment accounts with my kids. Now, at the time it's recording, I'm definitely thinking my oldest son who's 11, maybe my middle son who's turning nine soon. I don't know if my seven year old's ready for this. I'm, I'll ask him and see if he's interested, but I thought it'd be kind of fun as a teaching moment to open accounts with my boy boys and to, to talk to them about buying stocks and what companies that they can invest into and you know what companies are they excited about and also gives them something to track from now until the end of the year and hopefully uh, for years to come so they are familiar now with how to invest. So once again, I don't know if that's going to be all three of my boys or just two, but that is something else to be on the lookout for. We'll be opening accounts with them soon and then I'll be recording videos with them as we talk about buying stocks and them choosing their stocks. So. Be on the lookout for that. All right, going back to number 10, I really can't take credit for this one. I think this was one of the other YouTubers that brought up this idea, but the idea was that instead of investing into stocks, you know, doing the traditional investing, what about taking a thousand dollars and doing some sort of side hustle with that and see how you could grow your dough. And, you know, Gary Vee talks a lot about this, you know, on his channel. I just love that whole, you know, mentality of doing the hustle and, and going to flea markets and yard sales and flipping that stuff on eBay and Amazon and all that good stuff. So I thought, you know what, let's give it a try. So I'm going to take a thousand dollars and I'm going to do some side hustles. The one I'm really excited about, I don't know if I'll continue this for the rest of the year, but uh, I love trying to flip shoes. I'm kind of a shoe guy. You see these Jordans? These are Jordans. These are Jordans too. 88 Retros Air Jordan 4, baby. Yeah, I like shoes. Right now, I've been monitoring the Nike Sneakers app, and if you have that app, they let you know what upcoming shoes are getting ready to drop. So whether they're new Jordans, or they're just some of their new featured shoes that they only have a limited supply on. So I've been trying that. I haven't been as successful as I would hope. I have bought a few that looks like I'm gonna have to return because I'm not gonna make any money. But either way, I'm starting with shoes. It may evolve to something else, and that's the beauty of doing a side hustle, is that you can try different things. But the way that I'll track this is I'll just create some sort of spreadsheet, show how much I spent, you know, show what the profit was at the end of the year. I'll calculate whether I made money or if I lost money. And if I lose money on a stupid side house for the rest of the year, then like, dear Lord, take away my YouTube channel. Please take it away. I better make me some money as a side hustle. All right, so those are some of the different investment platforms I have opened up. I wanna talk a little bit about the YouTubers that are taking part because I want you to follow their Grow Your Dough Challenge throughout the year too because you're not only gonna learn from me, you're gonna learn from some amazing financial money YouTubers. All right, now I wanna show you some of the YouTubers that are taking part in this challenge. This is not all of them. Check the description below and you'll see all of them. I have a link to all their channels that you can check it out. So here are some of them right now. So Graham Stephan is a guy I've been following here. He's got an amazing channel. He's Gosh, that's a, a big following in a short amount of time. So he is taking part in this. Another awesome YouTuber, Ryan Scribner, another guy who uh, just started his channel not too long ago and already has over 300,000 subscribers. I mean, this guy's also crushing it. Uh, we got Joseph uh, Hoke, another uh, Finn Connor in here. So he's part of the uh, personal finance blogging community, which I am all about. And uh, his YouTube channel has been crushing it the last year. Another good friend of mine, uh, Bob Lodick from uh, Seed Time Money. You can check out his awesome blog too at seedtime.com. Uh, so he's also taking part. And just a few others like Whiteboard Finance, another in here. And then I've got a list of others here that you can maybe see there. Maybe not all of them, but either way, you'll check out the list of everybody that's taking part in the description. Uh, it's gonna be fun. And I have a feeling that once this thing gets going, uh, we're gonna have other YouTubers jumping on board too. And there also might be some other blogs jumping on. So they might not, might not be doing video, but you'll be able to read about their Grow Your Dough campaign for 2019. All right, so that is the beginning of the Grow Your Dough Challenge. I am so pumped. If you haven't yet, subscribe so you can check out what is going on. As far as what to expect for the rest of the year, I kind of already mentioned this in the 
beginning, but you're going to be watching, be viewing behind the scenes videos of each of the different investment platforms. So I wanna show you what it looks like to open these accounts and what that looks like and just how hard or how difficult, which it ain't difficult. So just to show you how easy it is to get started investing. I'm also going to show you the numbers. Like as we go along for the year, I wanna show you how the returns are going and we can talk about you know what what's going on, why one account is doing better than the others and just to show you what it's like to be an investor and what it's like to manage the emotional roller coaster when it comes to investing. I mean, what not a, a great time to do this because right now the market's a bit, it's a bit frantic right now. So this is not a full on bull market. We've got a lot of volatility and just to show you what that looks like. I'm just so pumped about this. I'm pumped that you are part of this journey and I can't wait to show you the first videos of us actually getting invested. So be sure to subscribe, check it out because the Grow Your Dough challenge starts now. Peace.